Oh, won't you please take me home? Oh, take me where? To the Paradise City. <laughs> Did you fly away, oh, City? Oh, that too. Thank you. <laughs>
you know, this home had vacation vibes. It has so much grandeur. It's a very large home. It's a little over 7,000 square feet. So we needed a statement making entryway. And these doors are kind of our take on, you know, very popular steel and glass doors that you see right now in a lot of builds um, and just a unique custom design. So we did um, this different, unique kind of gritting pattern. Yeah, it was like lattice. Yeah, um, which I think just plays well and kind of shows the elevated style of the rest of the home. So then coming in here, we needed something that. I don't even remember how we came up with this. I don't either. I know. Oh, see, but you're like, what was the inspiration? I'm like, I don't remember what oh. I ate yesterday for breakfast. So. Well, we designed stuff in 2018. Like, I don't freaking know. You guys are going to ask, like, how did you come up with that? I don't know, but it's freaking awesome. And so all I remember is we needed to figure out how to balance an entry of such grandeur as Kylie said. We don't have to worry about privacy in this home. Truly, you drive and 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 you get to the end of a cul-de-sac and that's where this beauty is. And you've got 360 degrees of saguaro cactus, which is an Arizona staple. We are up in North Scottsdale here in Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix. So we've got a little bit of elevation here. The views are amazing. Truly, like, I swear you could see a thousand saguaro cactus, yes. which we hold very near and dear to our heart here as Arizona, Arizona, Arizona Arizonans. 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 As Arizona. Phoenicians. Yes, as Phoenicians. Thank yes. you. So you come through the entry. Um, remember how this is going to be short? I know. You come through the entry and we knew that we, we this came first. Yes, I think this came, this came first. Yeah. So this is in a floating, fully integrated white oak furniture piece is really what we wanted it to look like, but it was made from our cabinet manufacturers. Your cabinet providers should be able to go the distance for you. And this is one of those pieces that we wanted to make sure that it looked like furniture, um, but it is custom made to fit this space. It has a quartz countertop. We started with the stone over here and we'll talk about what the method of finishing the stone is here when we get to the other side. In the stone, we came up with this custom arched mirror. I have been asked so many times <laughs> where to get this mirror. And I can tell you there is no link for it. It almost killed us and everyone involved <laughs> trying to make it and trying to get it installed. And um, the mirror had to come first, then the stone, then mortar washing the stone, right? No, I think it was opposite. They started part of the stone. Then they had to template for the mirror. Right. Then they, yes. Yeah, there was a lot of steps, a lot of process okay. behind this. But but it worked out. This is why you fight for what you want, because yes. look at this monster. Like, it's so good. Great it's outfit like, of the day. Yeah. <laughs> great, great selfies. Selfie great mirror. lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm already sweating, you guys. Um, and then this. Tell us about this. Then over on this side, we obviously needed something to balance how beautiful that is. And also with such a large mirror, you're getting a lot of reflection. So we wanted something to be really beautiful behind it. So we came up with this almost outdoor coming in um, element. So. You know, if you're in a resort, you might see something of, you know, lanterns along the walls and down a pathway leading you. And we kind of wanted to mimic that here. So we picked nine of these stunning sconces. This was a whole nother part that like had to be worked around um, getting these all evenly in line with the stone behind it. Um, but it really, really, really paid off. So again, fighting for what you want and what you believe in is very important here. Um, I think it's just such a statement. They're on dimmers, so like, Imagine the lights are low, the sun's setting, mm. your friends are coming in, your music's playing, like. Such a vibe. Rosé in hand. I know, I love it. It's such a vibe. <laughs> it's such a vibe. Um, so yeah, I think that's. Yeah, and think about, don't forget lighting is art. I think, mm. I actually think, now that I'm like coming back to the yes. process, that's what we talked I know. about, is we were like, <laughs> would you look at this back. mirror, do you want to see art? You obviously don't want to see mirror because they would just reflect each other. So we're like, okay, when you're looking at this mirror, do you, what do you want to see? And, mm. and the lighting really plays as art. Um, and to obviously like, look at the idea of getting an art piece this big, huge. So anyway, so that's how we got here. Um, the stone is from Solstice Stone, who we use a lot. Uh, they're one of our main suppliers. It's the Tuscany white stone. Um, and then the method is a heavy grout, flush, flush, flush grout. grout um, installation, extreme yeah. mortar wash. We think. <laughs> we went through a lot of sample boards yeah. to get to that. So like start there general and then yeah. have them make multiple samples and yes. then you'll find the right the right yes. combination. Must sample your stuff. Yes, you absolutely must sample. We went through lots of rounds yeah. to get the perfect one and it's stunning. Mm, it's, it's so beautiful. It's so good. There's a chandelier in here, a beam way, way, way high up, and then we have this darted beam that kind of ushers you in and welcomes you into the great room.
Okay, so now we are entering the great room, which is one of this family's living spaces. Um, and when we were designing the furnishings, our client really did want this to feel a little bit more elevated than the den. And we'll show you the den, the, den, the game room, the family rec room, like there's so many things we call it now. Um, so this was, was intentionally made to feel a little bit more grown up. And I specifically remember. So mom, right, has three boys. And we were like, wait, can we fight for like something a little bit more feminine, if you will, and like softer almost, right? And this space kind of took that on a little bit. We wanted we wanted her to feel special in this great room space. And um, I think it's like so well done and beautiful. I would take it in a heartbeat. <laughs> so one of the most important features in here, while it's still beautiful, we needed everything to have performance fabric and to still perform well because, you know, they are gonna run around in here. Boy, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're not just gonna not walk in. So everything you see in here is performance fabric, which means, you know, you can spill wine on it. You can fall asleep on it. Your makeup can fall on it. Your dog hair can get on it. Your crayons. Yeah. Yeah, all the things um, and it will clean right up. This piece right here is very special to me. Um, I was so excited about this. this. is 130 inches long with a single bench cushion. When... I don't know that they'll care about that, but we do. Yes. <laughs> and all the designers out there will know exactly why we care about it so Yes. Much. <laughs> and I had to fight with our um, um, supplier who made this um, to get the single bench cushion. And I'm so happy that we did it and it looks stunning and beautiful um, and it just this room is really large and I think it makes this whole space just feel a lot more approachable and more inviting um, because this has this to anchor it and offset how grand the kitchen is as well. Um, and then behind it over here, we have this really long bench that kind of caps the space as well. Um, then into the actual, the rest- wait, The bench? We found the bench. <laughs> I look thought we weren't gonna share. Look at the bench. <laughs> look at this beauty. We found this bench during the install. Yes, because the one that we had ordered from our supplier in it Texas, would it would have been fine. Yeah, fine. it came and it wasn't what the photo looked like. What what they usually they sent us a photo of you know what, what we're expecting it's a to get. Vintage piece. Yeah, so you know it's sourced and it's found, but it came and it just like wasn't the right one. So we were literally in the install and we were at a place we that need something else. We cannot yeah. share the source of. Yeah, you guys, we try to tell you everything, but this thing, it, like. <laughs> We just can't. We can't we tell you on YouTube cannot. because then the next time we need a killer bench like that, y'all are going to have bought them all and then we won't have a bench. It's true. So this one, we will take to the grave. Best find. Yes. So proud of that one. Yes. And it's not, Best it's fine. not home goods. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, home goods. No, but it's no link. You guys Sorry. don't have anything like that. Yeah. Sorry. So, but I just thought we had to tell them. Yes. Yeah. No, okay. So should, the bench, the bench set that. the whole thing off. Yep. Mm -hmm. And here, these are two 52 inch wide coffee tables. So like I'm giving you dimensions so you can understand how big this room is. Um, because I feel like once you're in it, it does not feel it huge. Like I feel like you could have a conversation with someone sitting in that chair over there and it would feel completely normal but and at the same time when you build big houses mm -hmm. you need furniture right like we have to fill the space one 48 inch by 48 inch coffee table would have been a tic tac yes an actual tic tac a little a literal a little tic tac yeah <laughs> so scale is super important um and then leading into scale this light is also a 72 inch huge bright yeah inch. tiered chandelier that fits this space perfectly should we do a lighting video yeah. We should do a lighting video. We should do a lighting video. Would that help video. you guys? I think a lighting video would help you. Um, gosh, we'll have to figure out our magic tricks, but, <laughs> and, and get them in a place that we could tell you about. We, we will do a lighting video so that we can try to help you guys understand scale. Cause I do think like, as you're saying 72 by 72, you guys, that's a dining room table that seats eight people. Like that's a huge table. And up here it's like, Oh, that looks great. Yeah. And I think that's something that people struggle with so much. Sorry. That was like just a, yeah. yeah, and consumers, if you didn't have a designer and you had a room of this size, right. you know, you they get? go online, it's really hard to find lights of that, or no, chandeliers right. of that size. Right. So you might end up with a 48 inch round uh. and get it up there and you're like, uh, something feels <laughs> off. Why doesn't this look great? Right? <laughs> yeah, it looks different. So um, that's our, our little tip on that. This fireplace is ginormous, it's killer. Um, this is a custom limestone surround. And when it went in, their littlest son, Grayson, he could walk right into it. That's how, sh not fire on, obviously, all the things, but when, when it first went in, he was teeny enough that he could just like walk right, walk right in there and stand pretty, pretty darn close to like straight up under the fireplace. So um, yeah, it's huge. Yes. And we capped the over mantle, so from the mantle over, 
the overmantle with our gosh it's probably like we probably use this and tried and true probably retiring soon yeah it's probably well, retiring I soon i think you sold it out but yeah so <laughs> me twice. see that is exactly why i can't tell you where the bench is from is because i told everyone where this is from and now we can't get it yeah so <laughs> now it has, to, back it has to retire so yeah. it's retired so we found something else but this is old texas brick um it is their modern brick mid-century yes mid-century modern thank you um, in white and it's just lovely and stunning and the how linear the shape is really provides that transitional feel in I would say I mean some might consider this home like traditional mm -hmm. I mean we don't it's organic desert living which is the aesthetic that we design under and exactly why we call it that but so the mix of how linear it is and how long and exaggerated this footprint is with the over mantle and that's like got to be 12 or 14 feet of brick with the return is incredible. And then on either side, we um, flanked it with custom cabinets. This is the slimline shaker that you're probably seeing a lot of right now. It's beautiful. Just remember who started working with it three years ago. <laughs> um, but it's very mainstream now and is absolutely stunning and will be classic forever. Um, and then of course, shelves on either side, we um, capped the top of those with a picture light. We love your shelving to have just a little bit of ambient light so that everything that's on the shelves can just glow and, and look really beautiful at night. Um, little Ottomans always do the trick kind of in front of a fireplace moment. This rug, have we talked about like our rug philosophy on YouTube? I don't know if we have. I feel like I tell every client this. That's um, a good one. But right, yeah. let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all the accessories like the whole theory that you can just change out your rugs that are 12 by 15 is like kind of ridiculous right like this would take a moving crew four hours to be able to swap out a rug so this is an expensive rug it's natural material um, it's made by a wonderful supplier we will also link any of the furniture products that we can for you in the description um, or we'll do a blog post and link in the description of the blog post so we try to get you guys information except the bench <laughs> Promise I'll let it go after that, but um, my whole spiel concluding with a quality rug that is made of natural material that can be cleanable will serve you far longer than some of those cheapies out there. I totally get if you only have a $500 budget, just expect what you're getting out of that $500 budget. The bigger you go, the lower the price, the less the quality, right? It's just kind of true. Um, look for rugs on sale, right? Look for secondhand, even a set, like I would rather have a secondhand rug, something that I got on consignment, on Facebook Marketplace, on OfferUp, whatever, that was a natural material that I could clean than I ever would a synthetic material that is just like, there's no pile, it will melt if you try to clean it. So, you know, just try to, try to weight that. I'd also like rather have a lesser coffee table and a really great rug because the rug is really gonna ground the space. It's gonna give you so Makes much. all the difference. Yeah, oh my gosh, such a, such a tell. huge, yeah, yeah, such a huge difference. So um, what else can we tell about the great room? I mean, the beams, of course. Um, should we talk about, about Beamgate? Beam <laughs> <gasps> oh, do we man. talk about Beamgate? <laughs> You know, we're not doing a tell-all for this project because we don't really do tell-alls anymore. Um, we could tell-all. They just took <laughs> so long and it was just too much. Um, but yeah, we could do a tell-all on Beamgate alone. Mm -hmm. um, Beamgate took many, <laughs> many a minds, many a meeting. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that Beamgate. English? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Listen, beams are important. And um, for whatever reason, getting these to look this way um, was just a challenge for everyone involved. And that's part of building, right? Like it's part of construction. It just happens. Um, but this one almost took us down <laughs> um, and we were we it was it was hard for everyone It was yes. also like a deep COVID. Yes, and no, it was Christmas Eve and we were both oh, in the mall. It was Christmas Eve. It was Christmas Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve, COVID Christmas Eve. Anyway, this is the life of a designer, right? Yeah. We wouldn't trade it for the world but um, to have these beams now installed looking as freaking amazing and wonderful and fabulous and everything that we wanted them to look like and our client wanted them to look like now makes all of that so rewarding and so wonderful. But yes, we do call it Beamgate. Our client calls it Beamgate too. We pretty much put gate on anything that's like even a little, ugh, because <laughs> like, we're like, if we got to throw all the troops at whatever gate, then that just becomes Beamgate. And this was, this was one of them. So um, the beams are incredible. We haven't mentioned um, the architect. Mm -hmm. The architect in this is Corey Weebers and he is incredible. And this was a beautifully, beautifully, beautifully built home from the paper that we got even initially. Uh, we we just loved working on this project. It was it's just so beautiful and, and so grand. And you already said over seven thousand square feet. Um, I think that's it for the great room. And we are going to move into the formal dining room next. Mm -hmm. 
So now coming into the formal dining room, this is one of my favorite rooms in the house because it has such a vibe. Um, our clients, they eat out all the time in Scottsdale and one of their favorite restaurants is Ocean 44. So they requested that we do some sort of lighting fixture that gives them those vibes. So we created this custom installation right here of these different sized hand blown glass pendants um, that we literally took three of us to be here and find the different heights with the electrician. It was like a whole morning situation, but it was so worth it. Um, when those are all on at night and the lights are dim, it just, such good vibes. So we also wanted to keep that kind of private dining room vibe in here. And we created this custom metal shelf. So this was created by Pierce Designs. Um, Danny came and he saw our vision and he made this stunning piece. It's really, really long. I don't know the exact dimensions off the top of my head, but we wanted something to function as not only like a bar shelf, so you could belly up and um, if you've got your, your wine tasting party here, you could pour some wine over here, but we also wanted this to serve as kind of like an art ledge. So we created this custom channel that comes up um, so the art can sit back and sit against the wall and not fall. Um, and then into the dining room, we wanted something that was comfortable for the chairs, but also looked really, really good. I love the curve back on this. I feel like it looks good from every angle. One thing you'll notice about this house, there's lots of windows and doors, um, and this dining room is actually off the front of the house. So when you walk up to the front door entry, you've got this beautiful corner window, and you can see into the dining room, and it just like takes you in. And the curvedness and the, the deep tones and the rug and the lights, I think it's just very captivating as you walk through. And then, this is kind of a showstopper over here. This is your wine cellar. So I wish I had this room in my house because, don't you? So walking in, this is all for the wine, for the bar. Um, we chose to do a flooring change in here. So this is a brick that we love. It's a super cost-effective material and it looks great. Um, that we laid it in a herringbone. Pairing this with the white oak cabinetry, um, it's got the really good vibes of a wine cellar, but doesn't feel dark and kind of overdone like a lot of wine cellars do. Um, we've got tons of wine storage in here, so you'll see these X boxes that we made sure had lighting coming through. And then we carried this brick through also, not only on the backsplash, but through the back of the wine boxes. So kind of gives that earthy, rustic feel in here. Um, then also carries through the same brick that was you saw in the great room above the fireplace. So lots of wine storage in here, lots of alcohol storage. Um, we've got wine fridges. We've got this trough sink um, that you can fill up with ice, put your champagne bottles in there, chill them. We've got the sink over here, and then this is actually a glass rinser that I'm not gonna demo it for you today, but it is a life-changing thing that you should absolutely have in your house. Um, and then more wine storage over here. So plenty of area to entertain and kind of come back and forth when you're dining in there. From the very beginning, we had a license to vibe up the powder room. So this space is just off the main living room. We created a focal moment with Zalige tile from clay and then match that tile on the remaining walls with a focal moody paint. The white oak doors in here with vertical curve are just incredible and set off the conservatory vanity that greets you when you walk in. We top the vanity with a custom concrete round sink, wall mounted plumbing, and a big oversized vase moment that sits just below the vintage pendant. Here at the Lifestyle Co, we believe every home should have some touch of vintage and this powder room is no exception. Honestly, what do we start with in here? There are so many layered details to this kitchen. Yes. I, I don't, I literally don't know. I, I don't know. We have so many details. Take that us back. We thought 2018, about. when we designed the hardscape mm -hmm. of this, I actually think when we were designing, I think this was the first space we designed. Maybe. Even before the entry. And if you want to see the room reveal of the entry, the great room, and the powder bath, and the formal dining room, make sure you look for that video on our channel. We've decided to string out, string out, is that a bad word, bad phrase? I don't know. String out, um, all of the room reveals for this project are always on Vacate Prod. So you can see each room, each room gets a little bit more attention, and then we are putting them all together to give you a full, probably like 45 minutes, 
with us for the whole kit and caboodle if you would like to sit down for that. So make sure you look for that on the entry. But I really think that we started designing this space first. Interesting. And I think we started with the custom lights. Oh my gosh. Yes. Did we? Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. Initially, which it all works out. We have the saying that, you know, the design gods, gods are always in our favor. Um, but when we first designed this kitchen, we designed these custom pendant lights. Not what you see here, um, but they, they were, were so good. Really <laughs> amazing. And we said they sent were them... $17,000 each. Eesh. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, and back then, imagine what they're worth now. Yeah, oh my God, I'm sure they probably be like $25,000 each. Honestly. So, so we settled on these, which by settling, we mean, settling. we mean we got embraced. Blessed. Yes, these pendants by Corbett Lighting from Martin Lawrence Bulliard. It's a collab that they did and they are so incredible. Stunning. Yeah. I feel like no photo, no video does them justice. Like yeah. when you see them in person, they are true pieces of art. We've been saying that a lot throughout this home, um, but these really are artwork. Um, you'll notice they are hung at the exact same height, but they're on different planes. So we've got the ceiling that I'll talk about, um, which is a white oak tongue and groove plank ceiling with white oak beams in between, which really warms this kitchen up. Um, something that we really needed in here to kind of keep all of this that just feels so so grand and yeah. so luxe, um, kind of warms it up and tones feels it Feels aged, too. Yeah. It, we've, we talk about this a lot in design and, and a lot even on YouTube. It's really hard to make a new home feel lived in and feel aged and feel um, the character. Yeah, like it's like it's been there a while, right? Like kind of a rite of passage. And so ceiling treatments are one really amazing way to do that. Wall textures, of course, um, flooring, um, any moody paint color, right? Anything that like just feels like it has some experience, for lack of a better term, is a really great way to give a space that grandeur. And so in here, especially coming off of the great room, um, I think the ceiling treatment just did so well in here. This is also the first time that I think we did four pendants. Yeah. At least, at least designed it. Yeah. We had some projects lap this project, but this is the first first time mm -hmm. that we placed four pendants, two over each island. Um, and let's talk about the islands before yes. we even get to the perimeter. Yes. This was a big one for our clients. So if you're new here, this project is called our Always on Vacay project. This is a custom home. So some of the projects that you'll see or some of the videos that you'll see on our YouTube channel are spec houses. Spec houses are a very different process than custom homes. So for a custom home, we as the design team are hired by the client and the client um, is really driving a lot of the aesthetic of the home, right? Of course, when you are building a custom home, we want it to feel like you and your family and everyone who lives here. So they have a lot of influence in the actual design. On a spec house, we get to play and we get to do whatever the heck we want for the most part. And that's where we, do, we take a lot more risks. Mm -hmm. No outside uh, opinions. Right, no outside opinions. We don't have to worry about what, you know, who the end user will be. Whoever buys that home will surely be happy and deal with, with what we designed, right? So in a custom home, in this case, the islands were something that our homeowner, our client, were really, was really specific about. She wanted the second island to be able to seat 10 people. So we've got five counter stools on one side and then these um, come around here, come around, come around. <laughs> we've got these um, stools that are attached that move like this. Um, and we didn't think about her three sons hitting each other all the time <laughs> when they sit here mm -hmm. until we install them, but we haven't heard that it's not working out. So um, this is kind of a functioning table, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, she wanted her kids to be able to watch the TV if they wanted to, or have a conversation if they wanted to. Have so friends over. Yeah, friends over, exactly. They have a lot of, a lot of friends with soccer and, and just friends in general. And so this is kind of like the kids table, if you will which who doesn't have fond memories of the kids table? Right. Like the kids table is like where it's I think at. This gives me like a cafeteria vibe. Yeah. Um, and I think like really like cafeteria. warms this. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the best cafeteria I've ever seen. Um, but again, brings that in that character and something more unique that you wouldn't typically see in a kitchen. And in a new build. Yes, in a another, new, new yeah, build Another especially. thing that, that works in a new build that helps it feel aged. So kids table the actual island that would probably be more traditionally used in a kitchen. So Kylie's standing where the sink is, of course, and we'll tell you about kind of the detail that we went into at that sink. And then behind her is a 60 inch dual fuel wolf range. It is the <laughs> ugh, dream of all best dreams. Best of the best. Yeah, you've got that extended griddle there for like pancakes and bacon and eggs all in one. Or teppanyaki. Yes. 
amazingly wonderful. Um, and we'll talk about all that, but before we get there, take me back here. So this island, we wanted this side flush. So you'll see that there's no overhang here. These are all drawers for storage. And then if you back up, I'll take you this way. Um, you can see how it all looks exactly the same. You probably think it's all cabinets, but it's not. These are reefer drawers as we call them. So these are refrigerator drawers. So this is water bottles up top and then kind of a kid's refrigerated drawer. So you've got juice boxes and Gatorade and smaller waters, which is so incredibly useful, right? For a busy family. So um, build in your appliances, take the time, make them panel ready. You can really extenuate your cabinet footprint if you, if you do that. And then on the other side, Kai, take us away with more on kind of the vision behind the hood and the stone and all that jazz. So back over to above this beautiful, gorgeous range, we designed this hood. This was a totally custom design that kind of took a lot of thought and effort behind it. Um, we wanted this, again, to have a more Euro vibe. So rather than going with a clean, you know, drywall hood, we added this plaster finish detail. Um, this is a true Venetian plaster. It matches the paint color on the walls. So it's kind of like you catch it at different angles of the kitchen, which makes it really special and unique. Um, we took both of the sides down to the countertop, so it feels really, really grand in this kitchen and weighty. Um, then we've got the slab running on the insides and all the way through the back. So that's this whole wall. And one of the other things that the architect really set us up for, um, there is a 36 inch integrated freezer on this side and then we've got the fridge on this side. So something you don't typically see in your kitchens, um, but separating them and keeping this whole area in unison when you're working and cooking and prepping um, makes it really functional. So opposite the islands, the range and the hood is this secondary kind of perimeter as we'll call it of cabinetry. So lots of storage, of course, additional prep space. And then this, we again, created from the very beginning. These are metal and then glass, of course. And this is a show moment. So you'll get those comments or people will think like, oh, so unfunctional. Yeah, it is actually, it is unfunctional. If you, if you want it to be, you could definitely fill this with something that is, you know, I don't know your canned goods, which why would you, but we need pretty spaces, right? In these beautiful homes, whether your home is 2,000 square feet or 7,000 square feet like this one, um, it's totally okay to take a moment that would be not as functional from a kitchen synergy standpoint. So this area is on the furthest point out from the kitchen and we knew that we wanted something pretty here. So we've got layered cutting boards, we've got um, dishes, a dish stack, which is actually super functional. And then for photography and video, we of course played up this um, kind of greens moment, but you could definitely store your produce in here and it would look beautiful. So we wanna design homes that are an extension of. So yeah, you're not gonna put, like I said, your canned goods in here, but take a moment for pretty. It really pays off and it just helps everything feel so much more intentional. And then down here is your lower storage. So this, of course, you can have more overflow of anything you need and it just feels so seamless between the top in the steel and glass and then the bottom, which is solid cabinetry. <music> We've got the breakfast nook that's right off the kitchen and since there's another seating area on the island we wanted this to feel sort of unique and um, its own space so we did a flooring change right here so we've got this printed tile that's very subtle and kind of caps off right where the seating is so your eye can take it in underneath the furniture um, but it doesn't really do a ton of the talking it's just like the perfect accent in here um, we've got tons of seating with this built-in bench that goes all the way around you could fit so many people here. Um, honestly, it's my, I think this actually seats more than the formal dining space. Um, and then over it, we've got this stunning, beautiful woven pendant that again, just brings in so much texture and ties in all of the other texture that we've got going on in the home. This is something that we like to do a lot in builds. Um, you've get, you're given a lot of walls and we wanna make them unique and kind of showcase something different and there's only so many pieces of art that you can hang on walls. So we like to do drywall niches. So we chose to do these here for a little styling moment. You're not gonna put stuff that you're gonna use all the time, um, but it just adds another element of design and function and aesthetic. Um, above here, we've got some lights up there and then this big window looks out into your backyard 
And then over here, we also have the Our Father prayer. Um, another thing that we were trying to figure out when filling wall space in here is how we can utilize different methods of art and all that. So um, we chose to do that. It's something that our clients say every day and we thought that was really special and a unique feature to add to this space. The pantry at this project needs its own like welcome to and this entry is one of two. So you can come to the pantry off of the kitchen and then you can also come into the pantry off of the mud hall and the laundry and kind of the utility side. So, I mean, this is a pantry. It really is. I feel like we need to turn the lights on in here. Tell me how this looks. Wait, maybe just these? No, I feel like we need the lights. Is that okay? Is that okay for you? Okay. Um, the pantry. This beauty, this is from Kohler and this is, I wanna say it's called the Farmstead Sink. And I saw this back in 2017, truly. I was at Kohler in Kohler, Wisconsin, and this product was just coming on the market and I knew then it had to have a home in one of our projects. So we have since used it several places, but this was truly the original place that we placed it in this use and application and it is just incredible. So I love that it stands on its own. I love that it is cast iron. It just truly commands the space and really anchors this corner as you come in. So in any space like this, this is an additional prep space, right? Some place that you can get away from your main kitchen and kind of make it dirty, right? Beautiful for catering, beautiful for events, which would also be catering. Um, anytime you don't wanna be in your main kitchen. So we've got a microwave back here. We also have a built-in espresso machine, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of storage, a pretty moment as we need everywhere. So this is a counter-mounted, um, shelving unit. We went with a glazed brick as the backsplash here, which I just think is incredible. It feels like, have you ever been to Bouchon Bakery? It feels a little bouchon -y, which is like a dream of epic proportion for pretty much anyone. Um, quartz countertops in here, we continued from the kitchen. We also went with a gray brick tile in a herringbone pattern. So again, it gives it that really Euro Lux vibe that we wanted. We wanted it to feel like a bakery and like just things were so fresh and, and beautifully made back here. And then as you continue through the space, this is where all of the actual food storage is. So right now it's prepped for photo and video, um, but when our clients are actually living here, there's a lot more Fritos and Cheetos and all of granola bars and all of the things that you need when a family actually lives here. So um, it's such a useful space and I love how long and linear it is. You could have at least three people back here helping you prep, like I said, helping you get ready for a dinner or for a baby shower, bridal shower or whatever, and not even know that any of this is happening because the front kitchen is so impeccable and beautiful. Our clients that live in this home, they've got three boys. So there's a lot of laundry to be done in here. Um, so you'll notice we've got dual stackable washer and dryers. And right next to it, we've got one of our favorite features to add into a home. This is a true designer secret that you may not know about unless you're watching this video. This is called dry away. And these are racks that can come in and out of your cabinetry. So you can hang all of your clothes, put them back in, and let them dry. So say goodbye to all the freaking, you know, things that come out and you've got all the things everywhere and it's just a mess. This is gonna save your life for this. Um, so nice little promo for them there. This view is like to die for. I would not complain doing laundry in here. You've got insane mountain views, beautiful natural light. And then we've got our mom zone over here. So we need a little drop zone for mom to do her things. Um, if you saw, she did have a room of her own that ended up turning into a gym. So we integrated that in here into the laundry room design, which she said this is her space anyway. She's happy to close the door and lock it off and people won't come find her, um, mainly kids. So she's happy to have that in here. We ship laptops all the walls um, to give it another little detail. We've got some sconces, some shelving up there that we displayed more of a utility function, um, but still useful items that she can use. And then we've got this stunning farmhouse sink with the polished brass um, plumbing that really just allows you to feel like you're in a pretty space. And one thing I really need to mention is this flooring. Um, we installed this flooring in a pool bath in another project of ours and our client fell in love. This is by Tabarka. Every single piece is hand painted. Um, this is not cost effective at all, but worth every single penny. It's truly a showstopper and such a unique feature in a home that 
um, is something that our client absolutely loves and we love as well. And then I think there's something in here that you're all probably staring at. This big, beautiful brass dome light is ginormous and if I yell it might allow some echoing um, but it really just caps the space we've got tall ceilings in here so it really just brings it down um, and adds just an unexpected touch of lux and the brass really just pops up and um, kind of ties in all the rest of the tones in the room <laughs> Just off the garage is a massive mudroom that is a galley style to help tame all of the things of three boys and two busy parents. Where you hang your coats and jackets, we set the space off with brass lettering for a playful touch that says just for kicks. We are here in the dog run. Dog run, dog room. It's a room for dogs and it attaches to the outdoor space for the dog run so where they can go and go to the bathroom. So sweet and so kind. If you're new here, my name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer of The Lifestyle Co. And you have been walking through our Always On Vacay Prod with Kylie, our senior design director. And now I get to tell you about one of my favorite rooms in this house, and it's this one. So um, you've got your pot filler here that will fill. Are you ready for it? Wait. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Oh. My goodness, okay, well, when you live here, you know how to work the thing, but um, you don't ever have to pick up the dog bowl. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And you can just fill it for the pups, so I love that. Um, I have one of those at my house that I definitely need to figure out how to use. Um, the space is just, again, an access point for the exterior, but it looks so beautiful. We did a subway tile in this just like really sweet gray grage along all of the walls so that the dogs can be locked in here. And when you, when I came in, you may have seen on the Dutch door. So Dutch door, right, is a door that's chopped in half and you can close the whole thing or you can have half open. So it really works when you need to place your dog someplace. Um, they had a puppy when they moved in and you can see that he got his way on this door, but hey, it is what it is. We all have those issues, right, with our pups. A big farmhouse sink. Um, and again, just storage. So places to put your um, dog stuff, your leash, your hat when you walk outside, all the things. Um, this flooring is the exact same flooring that we also did in the pantry. So if you haven't seen that video, the pantry is included in our kitchen and breakfast nook and pantry room reveal. So you can check that out. But um, all in all, we just wanted a wipeable space, a space that the dogs could be in and really not destroy too much other than the door. And there is a doggy door out to the exterior as well. Welcome to the primary suite. This bedroom is such a good size, yes, first we of always all. Talk about like this. sometimes primary bedrooms can be humongous. Too big. Um, and this is just a really good size and feels really warm and just cozy um, while still being obviously a big. Right. But, but that's, that is really one of those places that we see in plan review when we have client customs. For whatever reason, people think that size, especially in primary bedrooms, is like what makes a home and it totally doesn't like we are constantly telling people take that down yes you do not need a 20 by 30 primary bedroom yeah with like, two sitting areas yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all that space i mean unless you truly like have hobbies that you do in here <laughs> other than sleeping that you need room for you don't need that much space so like 20 by 25 great size yeah you know something around there a little up a little down but Nothing huge, certainly not like 30 by 40, which we've gotten before. Okay. Yes, <laughs> um, and one thing that makes this room so great is this fireplace. Mm -hmm. I love a fireplace in a primary uh -huh. suite. It's just like, gives me all the good winter hotel vibes. vibes. Yeah, hotel yeah. vibes, put the fire on while you're getting ready or when you're getting ready for bed. Um, we chose to carry the stone that you may recognize from the entryway. We carried it in through here. Um, it's just like so- it's perfect earthy and, and perfect and adds all the things. It balances off um, well with the ceiling. Mm -hmm. This is a white oak planked ceiling with a white oak beam. Um, and listen, not cost effective at all, but absolutely incredible and worth every single penny. 
So you can feel how it just brings the ceiling height down. That's another like huge misconception we feel like in, in custom homes, right? People are constantly asking their architects for these like ridiculously tall, 20 foot ceilings. Like so unnecessary, especially in a bedroom space. You want to feel safe, right? And part of feeling safe is having a controlled environment. And part of that comes from ceiling height, at least we think. So um, adding the treatment on this ceiling was a non-negotiable for us. We also were able to wrestle a chandelier in the <laughs> sleeping space instead of a fan. Yes, um, and that's it's, a hard one in a client. I know, we that's always true. lose. Nine yes. out of 10, we lose. But yes. this one, we finally got one. Woo! Yay. That's our second high five. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> second high five. You would know that if you watched the entry, great room, dining, formal dining, powder video. So if you didn't, that room reveal, you need to. Um, but chandelier in here, I mean, come on. Chandeliers in a primary it has to happen. It's just especially it's, when you have a ceiling detail like yeah, this. Yeah, thank you. To draw your thank eye you, up. You. Yes, this too. To draw your eye up and spend all that money on this beautiful ceiling to then have a big ceiling fan. No, it's just kind of like, ooh, like, right? Let's just why not do you spend the money on. We that? will. T we yes. will tell clients like, hey, if we if we gotta have a ceiling fan, we're not spending any money in highlighting the ceiling. Let's just keep it beautiful and smooth and flat and white. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, these. We gave the client several options in the kind of flanking the fireplace space and what we wanted here. Um, we've been wrestling with the idea when we presented the interiors to this client uh, over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, with these armless kind of cloud looking chair ottoman situation. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the perfect use of it. Yes. Because it's nice and clean, clean lines, kind of mimics on both sides, just elongating the fireplace. Um, and we sold it to them. They're also really large. Yes. So we did sell it to them as, you know, they have three boys. One's really a little, um, somebody's going to be sick. Yeah. Somebody's going to be <laughs> sick. Someone's going to get scared in the middle of the night, especially in a big house. They may want to come and they may want to snuggle up, um, and sleep with mom and, and dad. So, so they're super comfortable. Um, again, they're huge. So even a normal sized person could fall asleep on this and take a really great nap. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of how we sold them on this. The upholstery in here, I think the layers really help. The window treatments, mm -hmm. um, especially just draw your eye up. These are custom window treatments with a pinch pleat and an oatmeal linen. One of my favorite combinations ever. You just can't if, go wrong. If you don't know what to do with your window treatments, <laughs> oatmeal linen, pinch pleat, as high as you can go, yes. knock it out of the park. Yep. Pretty much with no. a thin black metal rod, Yep, you cannot go wrong. Yep, can't, can't do it. It will absolutely instantly elevate your room. Performance fabric, yes. or performance fabric, of course. So we sell these as well. We'll make sure we link them um, on www.thelifestyleco.com. We try to link everything we can. So check in the description of this video if you wanna know where something is from. If we have the source and can share it, we will put it there for you, or we will do a blog post and link back to the blog post. So this is the fireplace focal, and then of course your bedroom focal, and like the focal wall, wall where the bed is. So I love this bed. When you were designing this, I remember when you brought it to me for review, we both just like fell in love with these side tables. And this side is a good demonstration of just how we styled it with the mirror. It's kind of like a vanity yeah. side table. Something nightstand. you don't you don't <clears throat> see very often when you're looking for nightstands or chests right. or drawers. When a room of this size, you need something bigger than a nightstand. That's Typically 24 to 27 inches. So. Feel found. Yes. But they were new. Yes. <clears throat> Which is also like a huge, sorry, my throat. <clears> throat> um, also a huge um, benefit to trying to make sure that you have furniture that feels found, right? Mm -hmm. We want something that feels aged. In a new home, it's hard to do that. So this is a good way to do it. Um, tell me about these because I love them. <laughs> Um, these are part of Kelly Worstler's line. Um, they are a plug-in sconce, so they don't need to be hardwired. But given the size, they're so tall that um, they do look hardwired because the way the cord is, you probably can't even see it. It tucks in just a little bit before the nightstand starts. So we had the outlets perfectly positioned so that you wouldn't see a lot of cord. You wouldn't see the cord up. You wouldn't see the cord down. Um, and they look like artwork, honestly. These have like a, pivot, a pivoting head. So you can move them around. If you're reading a book at night, you can angle it towards you. You can angle it away. Um, really great light that it gives off of. And also, again, looks like artwork. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of lighting in this project yes. as art. Yes. We really did. And then just talking a little bit more about the bed, um, the key to a good bed is layers. 
always. Um, we have a course on organic desert learning, www.organicdesertlearning, which is my personal learning platform that you can learn how to style like we do and how um, our designers style as well. And this bed is, I would say this is probably a little more tailored, right? In that we want it to look like nice and clean, um, but we used a lot of different layers, a lot of natural materials. So when we were talking about styling this bed, we talked about layers of linen, lots of different gauzy materials, that cotton muslin look. Um, and we just want it to feel natural. And so I think that this bed is such a great example of how natural you can make a bed feel while still feeling very luxe and beautiful. Um, so from here, I think we need to show you the primary bath, which will be worth the wait. From the second that we got the plans, we knew that Corey really set us up for a moment in this primary bathroom. You'll see that we placed this beautiful slipper tub in front of this enormous window that stares out at the saguaros and the mountain views. So when you're sitting in the bath, you can really take all that in. We paired it with matte black plumbing and you'll see that we placed the tub filler in front of the bathtub so that you can see the unique line. Plumbing's not cheap, so we wanted to really showcase that here. There is so much amazingness in this bathroom. Obviously, when we were designing this, we thought, how are we gonna compete with this tub moment, right? You just heard all about the tub and how incredible it is. And our immediate answer was, create, create a badass, badass shower. shower. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we did good. We didn't <laughs> rehearse that, you guys. We're just like truly like, it's like <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Here so one. welcome to the badass shower. Mm. Um, notice the arch. This shower, this should be cataloged in things that you should fight for. Yes. 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 It would have been so much easier to just say, you know what? We don't want the arches. Mm -hmm. We don't want the arch door. We don't want the black border around the arch door. We don't want the double. We don't want the flush mm -hmm. entry point with the rest of the floor in the primary bathroom. You know, we don't want any of it. Yeah. We just that do. It would have been a lot easier. Regular shower. But no. Nope. Not, how <laughs> Not we on roll. our watch. Not how we roll. <laughs> so we got this. And I mean, truly, like, can you even? Mm -hmm. I, I just like, I just. There's I, a reason you've never seen anything like it. I just. And I haven't even gotten to shower here ever because it's not my house, see? <laughs> but um, I would really love to. <laughs> um, so what can we tell you about the shower? My God, it took a village. And um, from the very beginning, very first design presentation, do you want to come in with me? I feel, as if you, I feel as if you should be here. showing together. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Um, we'd have to be on OnlyFans for that. Oh, God. And we would get paid so we'd get paid a lot. much money. <laughs> Maybe okay. we should. Maybe we should. Yeah. Okay. That's a problem for another day. So um, what we were to say this, from the very first design presentation, we said slab mm -hmm. all around, right? So this and I is think all. I'm remembering that this was the husband's, uh, I think this was one of I his think requests. He did. Yeah, yeah, I think he wanted, he wanted to feel... Yeah. He wanted it very minimal. Tranquil. Yeah, minimal, just plumbing. So from a vantage point, right, you've got the two doors that open, you've got the arch, all that amazingness, which we wanted. Then our clients, the husband of our couple, um, wanted this like very minimal plumbing only, um, mm. <laughs> handheld. This is Kohler Purist. It's one of our tried and trues. You see it in our portfolio over and over and over. It never disappoints. This is purist in matte black, a rain shower, um, a window, a window in the shower that doesn't get wet. Mm -hmm. So you don't have, and actually none of the doors, these two, or the window, mm -hmm. get wet. Yeah. So you don't have to clean any glass, which is wonderful mm -hmm. and lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to say much about the shower other than how freaking amazing it is. We wanted it big, we wanted it grand, we wanted it a focal point. Um, it's curbless, yep. so the flooring carries through from the shower floor all the way into the bathroom, which also helps with the seamless mm -hmm. transition, and it honestly feels like a spa. So elongated. <laughs> Something that you should know. Let's say you watch this video and you're like, you know what, honey? We gotta have one of these. <laughs> this whole thing was a freaking nightmare, okay? Figuring out how to make this waterproof, yes. not fun. Yes. So in the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th hour, yeah. we <laughs> came up with two Tadillac. Tadillac is a Moroccan treatment that is plaster mm -hmm. combined with special sauce. I yeah. Don't know, <laughs> Magic. It completely stuff. waterproof. So we had just this little six inch band arch situation completely 
tattle act. And the ceiling. And the ceiling. Yes. Thank you. Because we didn't want There's to... no ventilation in here. Right. So rather than put slab on the ceiling or tile on the ceiling, our clients wanted it to stay clean. So yep. we tattle act the ceiling as well. Tattle act. Um, it's beautiful. It looks like wall. It's incredible. But my God, getting to that solution was a challenge. But oh, so worth it. Yes, we're, worth it. We're so happy. I hope you are too. This bathroom footprint is pretty traditional in that it has his and hers sinks and a beautiful vanity in the center, which just is so captivating. The lighting and the mixed metals in this space really create androgyny that is so timeless. So now we are in the gym and this was actually something that wasn't supposed to be the room that it is. This was supposed to be the mom's room, her little office oasis. And when we went into lockdown during COVID, they realized we need a home gym at this place. Um, and what home isn't complete without one? So this room turned into the home gym, which is one of my favorite spaces. We've got such amazing natural light and we really wanted to take that in. We have a humongous mirror on this wall that is surrounded by this timber treatment. One of my favorites, I will never get over it. Adds so much texture into the room um, and really allows to just keep a clean workout space. So you'll see there's tons of machines in here, plenty of room for mats, we've got a tonal, um, all the things to keep you in shape. Okay, so we've got Kylie Ray behind the bar. Serving, are you serving drinks? What do you want? I know, maybe a little rosé? Yeah. We're, we're big rosé people. <laughs> but can you even believe this nonsense? Like, look at this. This indoor-outdoor bar moment. I'm inside. Yes. <laughs> He's outside. Oh. <laughs> but God, it's so beautiful. From the second we started designing this, we knew we wanted a focal moment behind the bar, which we were able to achieve with tile, that big, chunky, thick grout line. Sconces up there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vanna. Um, Sconces up there, it just looks amazing. And then in the foreground here, so the outside, we have the knee space under this hanging swing situation, chair situation, um, with a printed tile from Clay Tile. It's hard sometimes to figure out where to pull back and where to go forward in design choices. And in this space, we just felt like it was so playful. We had like this Cabo vibe out here. Again, why we call it always on vacay. And I think that this tile really helped showcase that. Um, so you've got these beautiful windows that are indoor, outdoor, plenty of opportunity for adults to sit here, kids. What do you have back there from an appliance standpoint? From an appliance standpoint, we are stocked. So <laughs> <laughs> we have not one, but two beverage fridges. So you always have a drink in hand. We've got an ice maker right here that has cocktail ice. Um, our clients requested cocktail ice, not nugget ice here, um, because they didn't want their ice to melt when they're making drinks, which makes sense. Um, then we've got our nice little bar sink right here. Um, pull out trash. We fully customize this. You can tell it's not the biggest space, um, especially with it being sort of a U shape. So we wanted to make sure that every single square inch of it had use and had function. So we've got all the marks in here. And then we've also got plenty of drawers for storage, for cups, for glasses, all the things. We have a little snack station over there as well. So when the windows are open and the kids and the adults are swimming, you can run up here and get served. Get served. And then if you come through this way, this corner was a very impactful corner for our clients when we were going through the architecture phase. They wanted an indoor outdoor feel. We knew immediately that we would put a game table here. So this is a spot that you can have a puzzle out. You can of course play board games. Um, we wanted it to feel like it was kind of the center, if you will, of the indoor outdoor space. So this is a huge room. Um, we've got, how, do you know how big this TV is? I think it's 85. 85. I think so too, I 85 inches 85. here, huge sectional chairs to hang out, plenty of floor space, a shuffleboard table um, that gets a ton of use, vintage Pac-Man, a uh, seating area for the other side of the bar that you probably haven't seen yet that Kylie was just at serving me with. Um, what the heck do we do with a wall this size? Mm -hmm. So this wall, as I wanna say, it's over 250 inches long. Huge. It's ginormous, right. so. Can you hear me over there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We, not struggled, kind of yeah, struggled with what to do. In a house this size, you have so many moments, as we like to say, moments, um, <laughs> moments. And you could only do so many things so many times. And we kind of used our, a, lot. A, a lot of different wall treatments, ceiling treatments um, in other places. And 
because we have the tile focal wall in the bar over there and the printed tile and the knee space over there, we wanted this to not compete but to complement. But it's such a large wall that we needed something that was impactful. So we stumbled on this wallpaper from Mitchell Black and it just, we knew right away. We literally saw it and we're like, that's it, that's and the one. Truly, one of the reasons why is look at the scale. Like this circle is like six by six. It's yeah, the size it's like of my hand. Whole hand. <laughs> so if you're gonna wallpaper a big wall, you have to pay attention to what's called the repeat pattern on wallpaper. So the repeat pattern on this wallpaper is really big. It's big, tall, and it's big, wide. And so that's what allows it to look so grand in a, on a wall this big. If we would have picked wallpaper that would have had a small repeat pattern, like even 12 inches, which, which seems pretty big, but in this case, this is much larger, um, it would have made the wall feel really choppy and busy, and busy right, which we didn't want. Yeah, and kind of just fall away. Yeah. You know? This is like stands out and really is bold. Yeah. but also plays well with everything else. Right, and this client in particular, her aesthetic isn't super bold. You can, if you watch the rest of the videos, you can feel that the home is very balanced. It's got a lot of androgynous elements to it. Um, this family is a husband and wife, and then there are three boys. So um, this space is definitely used more, kind of I'd say in that masculine tense, just because it's where they watch watch football games, and um, at least for them, right, and soccer, and, and they've always got a house full of boys. So we wanted to make sure that it felt somewhat um, well-rounded, right, in both a, ma a masculine and a feminine feel. So the space is just incredible. Behind us, which you won't get to see, um, as I mentioned, our clients have let us in here just for a little peek, are the three boys' rooms, and this kind of occupies their wings. So they get to walk through the space into their rooms. We've got um, Carson and Landon and Grayson, and all three of them have these just like beautiful, beautiful, no. Um, masculine, masculine, amazing rooms that they can lay their heads in. And like I said, they get to also enjoy this space that has that indoor auto feel. So we also want to show you the exterior, right? So come with us that way. The entire synergy of this home revolves around indoor outdoor living. And if you guys saw the great room tour or room reveal, um, we talked more about the great room space, but we didn't quite get to show you how just massive and grand this space is when these doors are open. So, I mean, how many people could you have here for a party? So like many. A ton. Uh, hundreds, yeah. right? Yeah, Probably. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, this Family and Five enjoys this space so much. So opposite where we have the indoor living space, lounging space, we have the outdoor lounging space. Um, and Kai, when you were designing this, tell me a little bit about how you came up with like this huge oversized ottoman and, and this furniture footprint. Well, because the two furniture footprints are right next to each other, it's important to not duplicate. Um, so to make them a little different. So inside the great room, um, we had a, sofa, a long sofa, another sofa, and two chairs. And in here, we took advantage of getting a sectional. So this is more cozy lounge seating, getting a lot of butts in. Yeah. Um, we've got the TV up there above the fireplace. All around, just super comfortable. You'll see this custom ottoman that we had made in the center. That is like 72 inches long, um, which as we're referencing sizes, that's a dining table. Mm -hmm. So it's made in outdoor fabric. Um, it can withstand the elements as long as we cover it while we're not using it. Yep. <laughs> Covers only work when they're on. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yep. Uh, um, and then we chose to complement in the textiles um, with the same fabric. So you'll notice that same subtle stripe detail throughout the pillows and the ottoman. Um, throughout, we've got a big outdoor rug that grounds the space in more of like a playful pattern mm -hmm. that kind of tells them that you're outdoors. Yeah. Um, and then the chairs over here have a beautiful back detail that you can see from the pool and I think just add to the overall resort hotel yeah. vibes. vacation that, vibes. Cabo vibes. Okay, so now we're here in the sunken fire pit moment area. And truly this was 100% the brainchild of our client. Yes. The landscape design was done and as she started seeing it come together, she said, you know what, I want a sunken fire pit area that you can roll up to the spa. If someone's in the spa, I can sit there, which is over on that side, or I can sit here and have the fire pit vibes, but also be super comfortable. So that's kind of how this came to be. It truly feels like you're at a resort. It really does. Like this is something you would see at a resort and be like, wow, that's so cool. And I think to build that in to your home is really unique. And the fact that she thought about that with enough time, yeah. um, we yeah. gotta give her credit for that Absolutely. for sure. And let's pretend it's not like 110 and it's like fall vibes. We do have a little breeze though. Yeah. 
So that's really nice. But then if you walk this way, we will show you the pool. So the pool is definitely a focal point here. Um, it really guides you out into this space. And for watercolor, watercolor is a big thing for us. We're always talking about watercolor. Um, and this client, she didn't want quite black water, um, but she wanted, and by black water, I mean black bottom so that the water feels like really lagoon-like. She wanted like some place between um, what, can and like, Cuomo. Yeah. <laughs> Cuomo. Cuomo. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Cuomo. Thank you. Cuomo. Um, and that's kind of where we ended up. So yeah. um, do you remember what the waterline tile is? Um, the waterline tile is from, <laughs> which is very important when you're choosing your pool tile. Friends don't let friends choose ugly waterline tile. Consult a designer. Absolutely. <laughs> Find a friend. So this is from Arizona Tile, it's from their Concerto line, and I believe it's the color grayish. Um, it's just a very simple, two by six six or eight two I think by six eight. or eight um tile that we just did a vertical stack bond going all the way around the pool super minimal super modern um pool tile is not something that you need to draw your eye to um, please no especially when you have a pool of this size we don't need to draw attention to that so um, i love that it just seamlessly blends with the pool tile uh, the pool color and just gives a really serene vibe. And while we don't let this happen often, um, this client actually saw our Go Big or Go Home project, which is also heavily covered on our channel. So if you wanna see that project in the pool there, you can look that up. Um, this is the exact same tile we use for that pool. So in this case, she pled her case and she was like, I need that tile. So we said, okay, you know what, we'll let it happen. So it, it ended up here too. And honestly, it looks kind of different. In, in I think it looks the very pools, different. Which is a yeah. good um, example of how different things can look. Same materials can look different different spaces. A backyard of this size is not complete without an outdoor kitchen. Um, so we've got one that really has it all. We've got a grill back there, a sink, and one of our favorite mm. features that we love to add is a champagne trough. So we can fill it with ice, you can put bottles in it, beer, wine, champagne, rosé. Yes. On a warm summer day, oh. it keeps all the drinks cool. And I'm sorry, but there's no refrigerator that can perform like a big old bucket full of ice. <laughs> and that champagne drop just does it. And from like a bang for your buck standpoint, the thing's like 150 bucks and it's just, oh, I love it. It yeah. works every time. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit emotional. <laughs> like, is that our, is this a wrap? Are we done? I think so. Like, are we actually done with this project after three years? It's hard to believe. That that's that it's it, I it's know sad. I know my gosh thank you guys so much for joining us on our always on vacay house tour and room reveals um, it really does it's like this cathartic feeling because yeah. this house means so much to us I think we grew so much as a firm and as designers in this project and designing this project um, the furnishings turned out incredible you did such a wonderful job I'm so proud of you I know our clients love it so much. Um, we will try to talk them into letting us come back in like a year and show you what it's like then. Um, but I wouldn't let us in here again because <laughs> living here is too great. Um, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Talk to us. We will try to link everything we can in the description, but we will always respond to your comments. Um, truly, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.